hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's the first time you're ever coming across this any of my videos my name is mofe and it's a very happy space welcome to the beautiful community <laughs> of my family people you know i make so many vlogs and videos um you are going to enjoy them just scroll after you watch this video you can watch any of my vlogs okay welcome to the family subscribe on your way out it's free to subscribe don't just watch without subscribing go and subscribe so to, let's move on to introduce me to ah, i'm so sorry ah. i'm sorry sir yeah. i thought they knew you yeah, this yeah. man sitting beside me uh -huh. this gorgeousness is my husband uh -huh. the man that paid my bride price uh -huh. six years ago <laughs> this is him <laughs> so his name is daniel if uh -huh. you're meeting him for the first time as well it doesn't come often he only comes to the channel occasionally mm. when it's time to talk about things like this you know mm -hmm. so right um very quickly so i don't know you um our car got bazooka <laughs> <laughs> he got decapitated finished <laughs> on the road <laughs> where we packed it okay so on this fateful day i went for a meeting um and he also it was a prayer meeting and he went for a meeting as well with someone and you know we, he was gone and i was gone but opposite to, it's, like it wasn't even far it's just like where this is where i was and it was just opposite the place okay and so we went for this meeting and everything was good only for you know it was time to go home he was going to the car to like wait for me while i finished my whilst i round up my own meeting and come back to sit with him only for us to get to the car and the car, the car the front has already been scattered i'll put a picture here for you guys to see i don't know if i made a video i was so stressed to even make any video but the good part is it, as soon as he was walking to the car the incident just happened like it was fresh a few mm -hmm. seconds ago so the person who hit the vehicle was still at the scene so we were able to grab him you know <laughs> before he before he like does a eat and run so we we're there and you know he started to apologize say a lot of things i'm sorry i'm sorry he's sorry he's sorry this is not like i don't want to give um any any part of the world a stereotype but do we need to say would like no no, no, no there's no, no, no need no, no, no. it was just a guy no, you know it was an yeah he's an immigrant as well mm. but not a nigerian immigrant from another place another you continent. know from another continent mm -hmm. <laughs> you know so he was begging before you know it he had so many people around people stopping by begging us telling us please 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 and it's not about please I'm going to put the picture here for you guys to see how bad the how bad he like damaged the vehicle and it was like oh like he's he wants to take it to the mechanic that we should give it to him he will take it to the mechanic now 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 it's not about mechanic like he said um he's going to because it was it, it happened on a saturday so he said he's going to make sure that by by monday morning it's already fixed and he thought about our house we know that's not possible we've been using a car in this country it's like our fourth car that we have been using in this country and i know that <laughs> you can't just go to the mechanic today and say you want to fix it and then it's going to be done yeah. okay so what do we do do you want to talk or you just want to be here oh you're not ready i'm listening okay my husband is calm on camera <laughs> but in real life <laughs> he's the main extrovert in this marriage mm -hmm. so don't let all this i'm listening don't let it enter you you <laughs> get it yeah so um where was i yeah so he said he wanted to fix the vehicle and we're like we don't we cannot wait for that i have one, a newborn baby the first one no insurance first oh right that's why he wanted to fix the vehicle yes because yeah. some people were wondering why didn't you just call his insurance he's an uninsured driver he does not have insurance he does not have road tax like yeah. a big crime in the uk you don't drive your vehicle without an insurance but he does not have insurance so there's no one to contact he's just by himself he just bought a car well, from wherever and put it on the road and started driving it so because he didn't have insurance he said he's going to go and fix it for us you know and we're like we can't wait for that before you fix a car in this country they'll first give you appointment let's say today is the first of um october if you want to fix your car they'll tell you maybe come back on the 20th depends of october depends on how busy they are, so, they are. so you can't just it's not like nigeria where you just go there and say oh mechanic fix it today and they fix you today and you take your car no it takes a long time we're like i don't have that time i have a newborn baby i cannot be without a car at this time you know we were even we were quite considerate with him i know but he was just being very i be baby 
-hmm. he was being i don't know how to explain it he was just begging 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 and begging begging cannot solve it so to, to cut the long story short we told him to pay for the vehicle because our car is still very clean it's a perfect car there's no problem with our vehicle like we drive it with peace of mind no, we everywhere we, we tried to call the police um, we tried to call the police then yeah. he, i think my friend my phone went off and he, he said he said oh we're gonna pay, we'll pay for the vehicle and oh yes yes we were trying to he contact the police we yeah. did contact them i think as we, he was talking to them over the phone the phone went off so we yeah. could not call them again and there was no way to charge of course so we we're still at the scene only for um him to say okay he wants to pay abby yeah we'll pay for the car that he will pay for the vehicle now we told him the price of our vehicle for him to pay you you don't want to imagine what this 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 boy said i'll be this man i don't know no no he first no at first he said he will pay so he's trying to call his family to get money because mm -hmm. he knows when the police um arrest him like yeah they might he doesn't want any stain on his record or on his record pocket. yeah so we waited, we waited for that at first now we yeah, we did wait for that, but I'm just saying that, you know, whilst he he said he was trying going to, to he pay, was trying, trying to be smart. he was trying to be smart. That's what yeah, I mean. That, like yeah, he was yeah. trying to be smart. He said, like the price we told him we got our vehicle, and we're even willing to show him the receipt, so he can know that there's no lie anyway. Give me the money, I carry the car. He said he was saying, no, 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 we cannot buy it for that price. He has checked online, and the price he's seen online is not the price we are calling for him. I'm like, what do you mean? We never argue price with him. We just you know, just bring something like at least we know that we. We'll fix the car or but we didn't know the car was totally lost we just yeah we didn't yeah we, really we thought he was going to be like something he Nigerian can just fix Nigerian you know bumper, my fish, yeah. my husband was even willing to like subsidize the money just pay us what like this this particular amount of money instead of the real amount to bought the car take the car away go and fix it and do whatever you want to do with it you know but it was just being funny going up going front going back going side going you know so we weren't okay with what he was doing and then we had to the whole scene was already running into the night so we were able to like contact the insurance the insurance company the police also called back because he already called them yeah. before yeah. before his phone went off but now he was able to plug his phone so the police called back and said they saw his missed, his, his missed call like he's he has been I calling someone also reported the, i think someone reported and yeah. someone as well like in the area where the car is parked contacted the police that a particular vehicle has been hit so they called my husband and asked him that is is this social car is vehicle he said yes so he now told him that your your car has been hit on social streets are you aware so he said he's aware and this is what happened this is what happened this is what happened so we did everything we were supposed to do with the police and we also called our insurance so what our insurance did they came immediately i think about 25 30 minutes yes, they, they the came car. they picked up the vehicle where it was and they took it to their own recovery whatever so um after they did that immediately we were able to um get through to through our insurance we were referred to a solicitor now the solicitor provided us a courtesy car not courtesy car no, no. no. a car hire car sorry yeah. sorry um but most insurance they call it courtesy car but you know our insurance did not no the grace of god our the insurance way it did not give work. us courtesy car mm -hmm. so um the solicitor gave us car yeah because um the guy there's no no fault no fault claim yeah but later the insurance got back to us and said this one is driving like, wow. <laughs> sorry guys some people are just rough drivers so um what my husband is trying to explain is normally if you are dealing with in an insurance company they will give you a courtesy a car, car yeah. a small car to drive while you wait for your car to be fixed or while they do whatever they want to do with the car but on, in our own case right i don't know what happened you know when god is with you coincidences happen good coincidences happen so this 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 in this whole situation it was a very good coincidence right the staff that attended to us referred us to their insurance solicitors the so those ones staff, yeah. yeah so those ones now gave us a car hire instead of a court seeker are you following yeah so the car hire was a 2024 copra that vehicle is beautiful i'll, I'll show you the it video as i talk day, the contract yeah. yeah 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 i mean so they gave us the car hire for us to drive around till the insurance sorts us out so we already see remember i told you this thing happened on saturday yeah. so by sunday we already contacted our insurance again to ask for like updates i have a new baby i can't be without a car blah 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 then the 
person that answered us referred us to their solicitors solicitors gave us a car hire very ma beautiful car for us to drive mm -hmm. see everything is sorted out now this happened between saturday and sunday monday morning we already went like they already arranged the car yeah we already went to the place to pick up the car mm -hmm. i'll show you guys the video as i'm saying this and we already got the car only for monday no tuesday morning right the old monday went yes tuesday morning we picked up the car on monday follow mm -hmm. my story <laughs> tuesday morning our insurance company come over to us and said oh <laughs> we don't have any business with the solicitors yeah that they're not supposed to, like it's for only insured drivers when they eat you like yeah. solicitors only deal with cases of people that were eat by people that have insurance are you following mm -hmm. so that they can battle with the person that eats yeah that guy that eats us the the solicitor's job is to battle with the guy's insurance company yeah. that's to when solicitors come in to negotiate but in our own case our own guy that eats us does not have insurance so we don't have any business with solicitors but they have already started their process with us on monday before mm -hmm. the insurance got yeah. to know that we have gotten a, a car hire from yeah. them so there was nothing they could do so they had to leave the car hire for us they said um sister said they cannot pull out right now because we've already gotten the car hire. part of the car per month per the day. car per day so for the car hire is 264 64 pounds per day i'm coming oh now this car hire we are not going to pay one dime for it because i mean it's a no fault claim we were parked properly and we're eat and everything but because they have already started the guy that eats us will be the one to pay for all this money do you understand normally his insurance should be the one to pay but because there's not have insurance so it's like an insurance company dealing with a sole person without mm. insurance that's why in this country don't drive without insurance it's, it's going to be a, mm. it's a bad that's idea driver, yeah. it's te well, because if anything happens you'll be in debt i'm going to list the debt is in no i'm coming wait for me mm. <laughs> so we did the car car um i thing and in like about a week or two during that same week the insurance um company contacted us and said we don't have any business with the solicitors right now but because the citizens have already started they cannot stop what they've already started we've already signed agreements so we have to continue using the car IR till they sort us out right so um they now said our car has been transferred to their partners that fix cars repair, yeah. that repair vehicles so those ones reached out to us within that same week and said oh they are they are going to look at the damage and see if it's something that can be fixed if it can be fixed they'll fix it and give us our car back if it cannot be fixed they'll scrap our car and send us our money normally if the guy has insurance mostly what happens is the other insurance will give us a new car right no no they'll, they'll negotiate you know, like they'll negotiate first but well, because the car was packed you now so there's no even there's like there's no investigation yeah it's just, i mean it's straightforward stuff but they'll just negotiate like okay how much you'll pay yeah but there's no one to speak for the guy and the good part is where we park there's a surveillance camera and you guys will be shocked that we we live in wales and the insurance company we contacted they, they are in england the solicitor, solicitor, the solicitors yeah. were able to track the camera from where we parked and they were able to see that there was a camera like this country you cannot do anything in secret yeah even if the guy eats us and ran they will still catch him because there's there's camera everywhere i was shocked when the woman said oh i just saw it there's a camera there i said eh? i was shocked you know so they were able to see that it, it wasn't our fault in any way we parked correctly and we were eat you know so moving on um the insurance reached out to us i think about two three days later and said that the vehicle is going to be scrapped that there's nothing they can do about it just a total loss. like scrapped. total loss not i mean like yeah. they will not give us the car back the it was too bad for them to fix you know what insurance people do is they will, if anything happens to your car they'll look at the cost of fixing that vehicle if it's above 60 percent if it's above 60 percent of the current value of the car they would not fix it it's not worth it for them now those are the cars that they now send to nigeria to other parts of the country mm -hmm. for them to buy and fix and we'll start driving you know mm -hmm. but so this time around they said the the damage was too bad and they cannot fix it so they decided to pay us out so um we agreed on the cost on the price we wanted to collect for the car right yeah they for them to give you the money for the car they'll go and research and look at the current market value of that car with that mileage with the mileage of your car so yes your car is like fifty thousand miles they'll look at the 
cost of that car that is 50,000 miles in the market right now, yeah. then that's the price they will give it. They will give to you. So don't be scared. If anything happens to your car, it's not the price you bought it many years ago. It's the price they are currently selling it right now that they are going to give to you. And that's what we got, right? That's what we got. And as soon as we got that, we went ahead and we bought a new car. Before we even got the money, we, we, we already bought, bought a new, new car. car. We, we see the car, Ayaka, with Yeah, us. we see. We had the car, Ayaka, with us, I think a week before we got paid. But as soon as they agreed that they're going to pay us the money, we knew that, okay, insurance, we, as, as you know, agreed to pay us, it's going to take about 7 to 14 working days before they pay us. We went ahead to buy our own car, a new car. Then we waited for their own payment. That payment took so long. Oh, my God. Before it came. But it finally came later, later. Yeah. The long story of the old thing is that we have a new car, all right? <laughs> and it started by somebody bashing us. Like, as I'm saying, this is so funny. When my friend came to visit us when the car was eat and we we're still downcast, we we're still like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. I, when she left, I'm like, nobody will eat your car. She said, no, let them eat it. Let them eat it to glory. <laughs> the car, yeah, Go yeah. Me cereal because as soon as they eat us, we got the car, yeah. and the car, yeah, the agreement that they that the sisters were willing to give us for how many days? Minimum of eighty days. For eighty days, till all the car problem is sorted, and we are not going to pay a dime for yeah. it because it's a no fault claim. Okay, they're willing to give us for eighty days, but we didn't drive it for eighty days. We drove it for three weeks, three right? Weeks, yeah. We drove it for three weeks, and we bought our new car. We just went to return it to them because the cost is racking up on that guy only if he knew he would have just gone he would uh -huh. have just paid for our car and go j j j now he's in thousands and thousands and thousands of debts that he's going to pay and police is still on his, Our case. Police is still on his case as well i, I mean know it's a crime Insur driving without insurance in the uk is a crime don't do it if your insurance expires today renew it today don't say you do it tomorrow because you don't know if you can go and eat somebody tomorrow trust me if it was another person in eat those ones would have so they will sue him seriously but we are gentle people aren't we gentle baby mm -hmm. then you are so calm like this oh my baby it's really mm. really calm today oh no like why are you so calm you're not saying anything two people cannot talk at the same time no hey <laughs> so you are talking i'm talking i'm listening now yeah mm. <laughs> not the funny thing somebody came and said ah your husband is so gentle i laughed <laughs> i laughed I'm so much now, that, calm, like calm. the best thing i've only <laughs> seen my husband on camera on my youtube channel you really whenever i post it so when the person now met him in real life i spent like one or two hours the person was like ah no 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 all that's what you do for us on insta on youtube it's not the same thing no. you are changed it's true it's not karma at all you should not be don't be deceived all right so yeah i'll do a tour of our new car mm -hmm. after this video you guys are gonna see it you know it's a chr is a toyota chr gr it's a pretty beautiful car. We didn't want a red car before. Let me tell you the story. <laughs> but the car I uh, the gift to us was Cupra. Ah, I'm sure you guys have seen the video by now. The Cupra car was so beautiful <laughs> because of the red color. We're not like nah, it's Scarlet. We it's called Scarlet. So mm. we're like our next car is going to be color red. We're going for mm. red this time around. Mm. It's gonna be red. We're gonna paint the town red, mm. and that's what we did. It is like red so, and black. Yeah, red and black. You guys are gonna see it, and yeah that's the news that's the news i'm very happy with this new car more like i mean me, i don't know car, yeah. it's an hybrid car it's recent it's it's new it's so clean i don't know how to explain it you know it's, it's the inside smells brand new it's brand new it's cha cha it's terrible you know and you know i'm just grateful to god that what the enemy went for evil god turned it around for good mm. you know thank god my god was not inside the car when he bashed it i'm sure you guys have seen how bad it is Thank God, you know, he wasn't about to open the car when he bashed, you know. I already unlocked the door. Yeah. No, coming from that junction, yeah. Yeah, in, in anything that happens to you in life, always know that it could be worse. But God made sure it, it wasn't worse, yeah. see. God's factor is always there. And nothing missing, nothing broken, everything is working. Nothing missing. Mm -hmm. The devil thought, ah, let me show them accidents so that they can but forget it. Mm -hmm. We move. <laughs> it's from glory to glory. As a child of God, you're not permitted to have a better yesterday. You are not. You are only permitted to have, you know, a better tomorrow. La uh, uh, um, better is the latter of a thing than the beginning thereof. Your front, your forward is supposed to be better. Your path shines brighter and brighter as a child of God. Mm -hmm. So anything that happens to you, don't just sit down, wallow in it. Ah, somebody eat my car. I'm going to cry. Look forward. Look at the 
positive parts and that's what happened to yeah. us so it's a testimony at the same time please you guys always use insurance and when you use your insurance they should always add courtesy car because mm -hmm. that's why the so she doesn't even give us car hire because we yeah, from our car. in our court sick um in our in your insurance policy they will ask you if you want to add court car to it please make sure you have court car as a add-on and uninsured driver protection protection well, now, now again we know that you add gap insurance also mm. so once you've done your comprehensive insurance do gap so if, yes. if your car is 10k insurance pay like 6k gap will pay you the meaning 4k gap yes insurance. yes do gap insurance on at the time we didn't have gap insurance so our insurance did not pay us the complete money for our car we, we still lost a little bit of money yeah. but if we had done gap insurance then gap insurance would have paid the difference yeah. do you understand and the one for this car now is 100, 110 pounds for three years yeah it's so just not, not, more, it's not, ex, it's not expensive pounds, it's yeah. not every month gap insurance is three years at once, at once yeah. and it's, it, we paid a a 110 pounds and your car is insured so if god forbid it's god forbid it's not nothing's gonna happen to our car again because that process was too stressful but they'll cover the cost like, they'll cover the extra cost yeah the so even if anything happens to your car and your insurance say oh this is the amount we are paying you the gap insurance will cover the remaining cost of the vehicle yeah. so yeah i think that's about it please put court seeker and uninsured driver protection as the add-on mm -hmm. that way if, if somebody that eats you does not if somebody eats you and person does not have insurance you are still covered insurance will pay you off but if you don't have it you are not covered you are going to spend a lot of money so yeah that's that's about it thank you guys for watching our video is there anything you want to say Thank you for watching our video. Hey, <laughs> God. Uh, hey, my cool. husband is showing you another time. This is not my husband. Ah, yeah, ah, we want to be loved by. And as well, we celebrated our sixth year wedding anniversary. Mm, yes. Sir. A few days ago. Yes. So we have been married for six years. Mm. I've been married to this man. This man has been married to me for, for six man. years. Mm. So me, I'm you, not a lovely, lovely woman. woman eh? So I'm not a lovely woman. Yeah, uh, uh, If you're not lovely, I'm not sitting here now. Give me, shower me with love. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me sweet things. You know now, you know you cannot pretend. You cannot pretend you're not happy now. <laughs> I'm happy, definitely. Yes, no. Glory no, to God. Say you're glowing now. Are glow. you not glowing too? I'm making you glow. They glow, eh? <laughs> Six years with two boys. We are parents of two boys. Join the family if it's the first time you're watching this video. Yeah. We love you already, and I'll see you guys in our next video thank you for watching thank okay you guys, yeah bye here we are thank you very much enjoy uh, i'll give you a good thank review you. online thank, thank you. you thank you so much bye have a good day